it's basically that your exposure or your risk is, is a function of two variables, concentration and time. <clears throat> and in the first figure, and this is just showing a cough or a sneeze, so a single emission of particles. But you, if you think about this as ongoing in terms of talking, then it continues. Over time, you continue to produce lots of particles, mostly smaller ones when you're talking. With time standing close by, yes, the concentration is higher. But as you can see, with as time goes on, particles disperse. So even if a source leaves, you know, somebody infected leaves the room having spent time there, those particles can remain for, for a considerable amount of time. So where we are trying to intervene is in three places, in at the source, at the pathway point, or at the receptor. Do the source and pathway controls first, and receptor controls only come after you've implemented as many of the source and pathway controls. We, we don't really know what the infectious dose of SARS-CoV-2 is, but I will tell you it has to be low. An ind individual particle that somebody generates, you know, at, through talking, breathing, whatever, will contain multiple virions. So it doesn't take very many of those particles. Um, there are many aerosol transmissible pathogens, and these are not just issues in healthcare. They are issues in workplaces and many other settings, schools, etc. cetera. Um, and the, there's a long list of human-to-human -human transmission ones. So, uh, And some of them are common, like human influenza A. This is a very good study by Bill Lindsley at NIOSH, where he did um, he did a nice comparison of how much inward and outward leakage do you get for different kinds of things you put on your face. The, the lower the number in terms of leakage, inward or outward, the better. So respirators have very little uh, outward or inward leakage and very good filter efficiency. On the other hand, as you move down the you know, down the list to, towards the face coverings, especially the, the cloth masks, uh, you start to see how much leakage there really is inward and outward. And that has to do with both their very poor filter efficiency, as well as generally their poor fit. And it doesn't matter how well something fits if it has bad filter efficiency.